I'm here to share three things with you. First, I think we need to recognize the true founders of the school. Eight men who gathered in 1811 and decided to apply for a charter for an academy. It was issued on this day by the state legislature in 1811. Now we cannot recognize those people, but you need to know first they were all volunteers. There was not a teacher in their group. They never received any pay for what they did and they created and founded an academy. We have their descendants with us. But those eight men became the first trustees of the Williamsport Academy. And so would the trustees of Lycoming College, past and present. Please come up here. Bob Changro, come on. Gentlemen, there's some of you here. Come on. Up, up. Now I'm going to do two things. I'm going to give them an opportunity to shake Ben Creever's hand. <laughs> and then I'm going to give you an opportunity to give them a standing ovation. First, we recognize the founders. Secondly, we learn a very important lesson from them. They were persons of considerable integrity and character, and they had one particular trait that was very important. They were persistent, determined that their school should survive. And so however difficult the times were, these people and their descendants persevered, persisted. Now my third message from the past, and that is from the very beginning, those first eight trustees, they were convinced that the way ahead was a sound liberal arts education. An academy was a liberal arts school, featuring reading and writing and history and music and art and the sciences. That is a persistent theme. I like to think that I, as Ben Creever, had something to do with it. When the seminary was founded, I had a favorite theme, a favorite word. It may help to know that I taught Greek. That word was the Greek word for truth, aletheia. Thomas Bowman was president of the school. I was never president, I was founder. And when Thomas Bowman looked for a word, a term, a key idea to symbolize what the school stood for, he put that word on the college seal. And I'm very honored that the trustees have chosen to keep that word in that place.